how to make your solos sound a little less predictable using string skipping. A couple of licks for you in the key of E. First, a demonstration. <laughs> break that down. Hello friends and welcome back to Swift Guitar Lessons for another lead guitar tutorial. Every once in a while we get those special moments where we stumble upon a technique that we can tell is going to have a lot of mileage, make our playing sound more unique, less predictable, and if we're diligent with our practice, help us to cultivate an original style. Well, one such technique for me is the idea of string skipping. Okay, so not just playing the scales sequentially, Although that does yield some lovely results. Okay, that's a nice sound, but it's not chock full of surprises. If we want to perk up your listener and make them go, oh, what was that? Then we need to incorporate some string skip in. Okay, so I can find some less predictable note options by skipping one string and then going to the next note in the scale. So I can play something like, or, octaves, descend down. These are all very interesting options. Okay, now using that concept of string skipping to find less predictable notes, I can construct a lick like this. Okay, so right there I'm picturing the E major scale. in its G-shaped position. And I'm also picturing the E major bar chord shape rooted off of the A string. All right, which I'm going to arpeggio in this little run. Okay, so the lick, once again, real slow, looks and sounds like this. It's a great example of a string skipping lick that you can use in kind of jam band music, rock and roll, you can use it in jazz as well. Okay, it looks and sounds like this again. All right, and once more at full speed, get it into your ear. Okay, a little bit of a Almond Brothers vibe there at the end with the arpeggio, right? Okay, so we're starting off on the major third, that's the 11th fret of the A string. I'm gonna slide back and forth by a half step. Then find a less predictable note by string skipping, the ninth fret of the G string, the root note. Great way to start a lick. All right, next we're gonna have a pull off slide trick. Very classy, very jazzy. I'll actually pluck that last note there. All right, so I'm pulling off uh, 11 down to nine, sliding down a half step, and then going back up to the ninth fret. Let's add that into the mix. All right, now we're gonna find some more unpredictable notes by string skipping. Now going to the high E string, 12th fret. All right, then we're going to alternate with that root note as we scale down. All right, so far you have. All right, next I'm gonna slide back up the 12th fret high E string, and then vibrato on the 12th fret of the B string. So that little section there is going to be. All right, we can call that part one and stop there and practice. So let's put it together. One more time. Very classy sound. All right, next we're just going to incorporate a little arpeggio so that way we have something very concrete and solid to practice. A complete musical idea there. So the last part. All right, very much like Jessica, right? So I'm pulling off uh, 10 down to nine. Now I'm picturing the E chord. I'm barring on the uh, D string, G string, and B string. All right, so that was nine and nine on the G and D. 
I can slide down a full step from there. And then slide down another half step to fret number six. All right, then we're gonna finish up. All right, that was a slide from seven up to nine on the D string. And then the resolve to the root note, seventh fret of the A string. Okay. So we put all that together and we have a great lick that incorporates string skip and really sums up the concept. All right, and when I'm playing this and practicing, I'm thinking about my good friend Joseph Arnold, who I just featured on the channel. We talked about some practice tips for enjoying your playing more and uh, getting the most out of your practice. And one of the things he talked about in his upcoming book that he has uh, is listening to your inner audience member. And that means really enjoying the, the notes that you're playing and allowing yourself to be kind of responsive to the emotional consequences of the phrases that you're playing. Okay, so sit back, listen to the music, enjoy what you're playing, and also focus on being more physically relaxed. When you start playing with less tension, you're gonna find that you're able to pick things up with greater ease and that you're able to play with greater fluidity. Okay, now we still have time for one last bonus lick. This is something that I've found very, very useful. Looks and sounds like this real slow. And we can finish it up with that same arpeggio. And at full speed, one, two, three, four. Okay, so I'm starting off sliding up to the root note on the G string ninth fret. All right, then go into the octave. And then going back to the root note with a double tap. From there, I'm gonna scale down, repeat, and now I find myself on the ninth fret. So far you have. All right, then we're back to the root note before sliding up a full step, and then go into the B note and vibrato in, very similar to the previous lick. Okay, so these are kind of like companion licks. We can alternate pick it like I just did. And then end with the exact same arpeggio lick. We put all that together and we have one, two, three, four. Okay, so right there we have two very useful licks that incorporate string skipping, and those are in the key of E major. Now the next step for you in your practice is to practice uh, transposing these licks. So for example, if we're in the key of C major, all right, we'd picture the C major scale. All right, and we'd transpose our lick. Try in the key of D major, taking it down a whole step from where we started today. All right, just like that. All right, everybody, thanks so much for checking out this tutorial. I hope it's gonna help you to develop your style a little bit, uh, come up with some more unique options when you're soloing. Uh, remember, you can head over to patreon.com slash swiftlessons if you want tabs for these licks and also access to a ton of extra resources for all my popular YouTube guitar lessons. Until next time, this is Rob coming at you from Summers Point, New Jersey, saying happy picking.